Taking a look backstage, and oh my God, this is a developing situation. Uh oh, this could get nasty. WWE and 2K Games join forces once again for WWE 2K17. Is this an improvement over last year, or is it another case of one step forward, two steps back? Graphically, the game has seen some minor but noticeable improvements. The lighting looks better, and character models, for the most part, look better and more real than ever. Female character models, in particular, have improved dramatically. The roster is huge, with a massive selection of current superstars and unlockable legends. What's disappointing is how outdated the current roster already is. We can understand some newer entrance themes not being in there, or newer guys like Gallows and Anderson being relegated to DLC, but did we really need to take up two slots with the Matadors, who haven't actually wrestled as the Matadors since September 2015? This tag match really does have a big fight feel, and everyone in attendance feels it too. I feel it, or it could be the tacos I had for lunch. Gameplay-wise, it's a case of if it ain't broke, don't fix it, using the same basic setup as the games have done for years now. Limited reversals are back, with the timing on strong reversals being improved so they are now much easier to achieve, although they now take up two reversal slots. Doing so, however, will award the player with a buff, making their attacks unblockable for a short amount of time. You can also now manually switch targets by pressing R3, so you no longer have to deal with the subpar auto target system from previous games. You do still find the occasional graphical bug or weird AI behaviour, but we never felt like it negatively impacted the game in any significant way. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Crowd fighting and backstage fights make a welcome return and do a good job of mixing up the matches. There are a handful of rooms to explore and authority figures to run into backstage, but the backstage areas are the same for every match, and once you've seen it once, you've pretty much seen all there is to see, aside from maybe a different NPC here or there. I don't believe it! The match is over! The online mode remains mostly unchanged. There didn't appear to be much in the way of lag as far as online connection goes, however the input lag on reversals and kicking out is horrendous, making matches much more frustrating than they should be. Playing side by side with a friend, however, is spot on, and where you will most likely get the most fun out of the game, especially when playing with a fellow wrestling fan. There's nothing like knocking your opponent off the apron through a table you'd forgotten you'd set up. Oh, oh, that was cool! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> that was cool. Or having Bailey beat Nikki Bella senseless with the TV you found backstage and laughing alongside with another person. Jesus Christ! What a durable TV! Needless to say, this is where we get the most fun out of the game, and it's where we end up spending the majority of our time. <laughs> Something that hasn't been improved is the god awful commentary. It's the Miz against Edge. Michael Cole, JBL, and Jerry the King Lawler all sound like they'd rather be anywhere else but recording lines for a video game. Well, I don't know if these divas could be any more evenly matched than they are. What a match. Your sire, every repeated dialogue and poor attempt at humor. Legs taken out by the Russian leg sweep. Wait a minute. And if you're anything like us, you'll be searching for an option to turn it off that, sadly, does not exist. Here's hoping next year we get Mauro Ranello, or possibly Corey Graves or Tom Phillips from NXT, to give the commentary a much needed update. Big E and Kofi Kingston, the new day! 2K's single player showcase mode has been done away with this year in order to make way for other improvements in career and WWE universe mode. Career mode starts out much like last year. You start out training in the Performance Center before moving on to NXT and the main roster. This year, if you do well enough in your training, you can skip NXT altogether and jump straight onto the main roster. We're going to think of a persona together and start you off on the main roster in the tag team division. Wherever you end up, the main goal is the same. You'll be fighting match after match, entering feud after feud, all whilst climbing the ranks to earn championships. The grind quickly gets repetitive, as it takes many victories to climb even a single spot, and you'll find yourself fighting the same opponents again and again. Authority goals mix things up, starting you to complete specific objectives such as interfering in people's matches, performing certain actions within a match, or even losing matches. Completing these offers a minuscule amount of VC, 2K17's currency used throughout the game, so completing them doesn't always seem worth it. It does unlock potential future story cutscenes, and supposedly helps you climb the championship ranks faster, although we never actually notice the difference, sometimes even moving down the ranks after completing objectives. 
where the game shines is in its creative modes. Universe mode allows you to create your own shows with unique rosters and titles, and its already impressive creative wrestler system has been improved upon further, adding video creation for custom Triton Trons and victory creation for when you win matches. The amount of customization is incredible. If you're the creative type, you can spend hours upon hours getting lost in its creative suites and universe mode, and you'll definitely get your money's worth, and it's a blast to play with friends. However, if you're a casual wrestling fan just looking for a fun single player experience, it may be worth hanging on for next year's entry or waiting for a drop in price. Steel got it, and this one might very well be over, Cole. Hello, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click that like button and subscribe for more reviews and other stuff. Leave us a comment, let us know what you thought, and we'll see you next time.